The Design Notebook, your most powerful tool in organization and management. Within its leafy pages rests the result of hours of creative strain and precise calculation. Without it, your team is little more than a business of ferrets scrambling to slap together a functional drive tray. With it, you are an organized, well-structured, excellence-winning machine. But how are you supposed to tackle this daunting project? Is there a set script to follow? What are the do's and don'ts of the design notebook? What cover color is most politically correct? All of these questions and more will be answered in this official-ish guide to an awesome-tacular Vex Robotics design notebook. First, there is no above all right way to design notebook. When formatting your notebook, a certain liberty in style and preference is completely fine and even encouraged. This video is meant as more of a guide than a set of step-by-step -step instructions. That said, step one, choosing a notebook. We recommend a standard sized graph ruled composition notebook. You can find them at most any office supply store. It's important that each page has a grid so you can make accurate diagrams. Cover color is not important, but black or blue feels more professional than rainbow dinosaurs. In the title box, you should write your team number and a natural title with a marker. Step 2. Table of Contents A table of contents is a smart choice in keeping your notebook organized. Not only does it make finding a particular page ten times quicker, it also serves as a natural header to the project. In order to cite particular pages, you'll need to number them in the bottom outermost corner. Once this is done, you can organize your table of contents most any way you want. Many teams choose to simply list pages chronologically, but if you want to get fancy, you can try adding subheadings. Update the table of contents as you add material. Step 3. Designs As the name would indicate, the design notebook is primarily for engineering designs. Start each page with a date and a title. Ensure that each page is formatted identically to produce a uniform notebook. Even if your team doesn't have a future architect, don't be afraid to drop as many designs as you can. By committing your abstract ideas to paper, you have evidence to show how much work your team has put into producing a well thought out robot. Step 4. Logs In addition to designs, it is wise to include frequent logs in your notebook. Logs can be anything from design evaluations to written plans to lists of materials needed to construct a particular segment of your robot. They should, however, show the progress of your team. Format these entries roughly the same as your design entries with a date and a title if you feel the log deserves one. Step 5. Add-ins If there is ever any material produced on paper outside of your notebook, it is acceptable to paste it in with a glue stick or tape. An accurate date and title is still recommended. And in general tips, always write in pen, always use your best penmanship and correct punctuation slash spelling, use a straight edge or ruler when formatting and drawing designs, always sign and date your entries, never remove pages from the notebook even if you mess up, and label everything. And there you have it, one kick butt design notebook. Follow these guidelines and you're sure to have a much more rewarding VEX experience and organized workflow. Good luck and happy notebooking.